what is up guys it is monk here um i got a tutorial for you guys today first of many um today i'm going to teach you guys how to um get a 2d image or like a logo um export it into cinema 4d so you can make it 3d a lot of people have been asking about this and a lot of people want to know so i thought for my first tutorial it would be a good thing to teach you guys so first what you want to do is you want to get one of your logos um I'm going to use Machinima's logo just because it's a simple one and it's very helpful because with the curves I can teach you guys how to pen tool out curves because you're going to need to use the pen tool in this so if you don't know how to use it don't worry I'll teach you the basics of it so you can get most of how to use the pen tool. So get your logo and or whatever you want to pen tool or export into Cinema 4D and open it in Photoshop. Uh, zoom in to, so you're about close. I mean, you don't want to be like super far away. You, like have about a good, a good uh, range of distance, not too much, so it's blurred around the edges enough, so it's like sharp and you can get most of it. So what you want to do is on the side here with the tools, you want to click the pen tool right here. Um, make sure you have path selected and pen and the pen tool and that's all you need for that and what you want to do is you want to click on each point like that and then you want to click on this point a lot of people will click it and that's what happens it makes just a line so you want to make it curved so to do that you have to hold and you have to click on it and then you have to hold and drag you want to drag until it fits just about how you want it to on that curve I mean it doesn't have to be perfect but make it as close as possible so about right there is good so when you're done a lot of people will think that's good and then they'll go to the next spot and then that will happen and then they won't know what to do so what you have to do is you have to close this path so you have to hold alt on your keyboard and click on that path and then that stops the point and now you can go on to the next one and basically you do the same thing click and drag until it fits just about the way you want it to it won't always come out perfect I'm gonna kind of make this a little bad just because it's a tutorial but um so then you alt and you click on the point again to stop it go to the next point all right okay that one I did that bad all right so just do a step back if you screw up try it again I mean, pen tool is not very hard, a lot of people think it is, but it all comes with practice. Just do this until it makes it right, hold alt and click to end it. And basically that's what you do throughout the whole thing until you get to the end. So I'll just do this real quick. Sometimes you'll need to fix it a few times and you just need to zoom out a little bit. Nope, not in. Alright. So just do this until you finish the whole object that you want to export in the Cinema 4D. Again, I'm not doing this very good, I'm just rushing real quick. Just so this tutorial isn't too long. All right, and now when you close it, which is right here, when you finish the last one, again, this isn't gonna look very nice, but all right. So now when you close it, this is the part that a lot of people don't know. Um, you want to go to File, Export, Path to Illustrator, and just do Work Path. If you if you pen tooled out a bunch of different letters, like you saw in my Dream Speed Art, how I had a bunch of different letters, you do all paths because there'll be more than one path for each letter but since this is only one object that we're pen tooling out you only have to do work path so just call it something to your desktop or just call it machinima and now you open up cinema 4d wait for cinema 4d to open all right. When Cinema 4D opens, you want to go to File. Actually, I'll open up a, I'll open up a Light Studio just to make this easier, so it looks nicer. Um, just open up that. Take out that. 
Um, alright, so you want to go up here to object, go to file, merge object, and go to where you have, um, it, it should be an AI file, and then just open that up. You don't need to change anything in here, just click OK, and there it is. It's not, it's, it looks sloppy, but that's just because I rushed it. But that's it in Cinema 4D right now. I mean, if you render, it won't be anything there, so that's what I'm going to teach you next to make it 3D. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go up here to Extrude Nerves and drop that in there. Then you want to drag your Machinima into your Extrude Nerves. Alright guys, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, after you extrude it, you want to make the movement up to 150. That's about a good length. You can see now it is looking 3D. You want to make the caps on that extrude. Fill the cap on the, only the first one. Put up the steps to four and drop down the radius to two. And now, and then you can hold control and drag down the extrude nerves to make a second one. Make the radius four. And then move it back just a little bit. And then you can put on some colors make the machine colors just red and black just put a nice red on the first and then just make a black the black on the back and now we'll see how this looks and that's basically it that's how you get your machinima well not machinima how you get a 2d image extruded into cinema 4d so you can make it 3d so just wait for this to render over. And there you have it. That's how you... Uh, okay, that's how you export a 2D image into Cinema 4D using Photoshop and Cinema 4D. So, um hope this helped you guys out uh like the video if it did i'll be posting out more tutorials later but this is for now and i'm monk and peace out